All right, welcome to the second episode of the Aerial Cinematography Drone Vlog. That is the ACDV. I even kind of sort of, you know, altered a very famous logo for that. It's 30%, isn't it? Sure, why not? So anyways, what we're going to talk about this week is flying a drone inside an international airport. So basically... Um, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Uh, the biggest difference is the airport was my client. So obviously, the airport wants the footage. Uh, the FAA isn't really going to, you know, fight with the airport or anything like that. Um, you know, basically, I just had to submit waivers just like anybody else. But funny story, the first round of authorizations that I submitted all got rejected and I even wrote specifically that I'm hired by the airport but basically what they do is they see the areas that I wanted to fly and they just probably instantly shot them down because they were all inside the airport so I had to reach out to a couple of people with the FAA they put me in touch with the right people I had to let those people know look all these submissions are going to be coming in Here's a letter from DFW Airport. Uh, you guys can contact anybody with air traffic control. They're going to know. And after I did that, I resubmitted everything. And then within ah, two or three days, everything came back approved. So it was really quick. It was really nice. Um, but the big key factor is I was actually flying for the airport. So obviously, let's say some real estate agent or let's say a big company in Dallas uh, you know, a big company in downtown Dallas wants footage of the airport, they're probably not going to get approved for it. So it, it's kind of one of those, uh, you know, nice deals that it's uh, who you know type of thing. But anyway, so with all that aside, flying in the airport, we did a bunch of daytime stuff when the airport is obviously extremely busy. So we had to fly. That was actually a lot more difficult. A lot more planning went into that. We had to fly with a tether. I have a 300 foot tether connected to the drone, which limited me a lot with flying. And it also took a lot of my concentration worrying about the tether. Make sure I'm not going to get hooked on any light poles or anything like that. Make sure that my tether handler, you know, he's got the tether taken care of. He doesn't have like 50 feet of slack on the ground or he's not, you know, running out of tether to give me slack or whatnot. So there's, there's a lot of more... You know, there's a lot more things that came into play flying with the tether. So right now I'm going to tell you I'm not a big fan of the tether, but uh, it is what it is. So we got all those locations done, and uh, I'm showing videos and everything while all this is going on, um, you know, to you guys, the viewers. But then we had to go back and, uh, you know, we got an authorization for the nighttime stuff. Had to have my daylight waiver attached. So that's, that's a, another you know, thing that we had to resubmit um, to get inside the airport up to 200 feet, um, you know, is what they gave me. So then a couple weeks go by, we decide we're going to do the nighttime stuff finally, and we had some weather issues and, and all of that with some uh, freezing weather coming in. Here comes the nighttime shoot. We basically, same thing, but we didn't have to be as specific because the airport is pretty much dead. They're doing a lot of maintenance on planes out on the ramp, but as far as like planes taking off and landing, I mean, I think we saw three take off and maybe one land in the three hours that we were there. So we flew from 2 a.m. to about 4 a.m. Uh, that was it. Yeah, about two hours. Uh, I ran through probably five sets of batteries on the Inspire 2, but we pretty much had the, the run of the place at Terminal D inside, you know, DFW Airport. We had an escort with us, and we had to be with the escort, but he was basically, you know, where do you guys need to go? I'll take you there. So we told him where we wanted to go. We called the tower 15 minutes before. The tower would make sure that everything's good. And the cool thing is, is the tower actually closed down the, uh, they actually closed down one of the taxiways for us. So we could get out onto the taxiway and face back at Terminal D and get all of Terminal D in our shot. Because if I'm on the ramp, I'm not going to get the whole terminal in my shot. So I need that far back wide shot. So luckily they uh, 
they did that for us so we could actually go out on the taxiway. And I've got clips here I'll show you and everything like that. But uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, it was definitely a rush. It was one of the coolest things I've done in my career. And uh, it just kind of it kind of stinks that I start out 2019 flying inside an international airport. Um, I don't know how I'm going to top that. I might have peaked for the year already uh, on January. What did I do on January 4th, I think. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much it. Flying inside an airport. Uh, oh, at night, we didn't have to fly with the tether. I did have to use strobes. And I got the, I've got some Cree Flytron, the little Flytron Cree strobes. I've got some of those, but I wanted brighter strobes for this. So I bought the Firehouse Technology, and I'll put a link in the description, the Firehouse Technology Arc. Um, I bought the Arc strobes, and those things are bright. Uh, I bought the three packs, so I got a red, a green, and a white. And uh, I need to talk to those guys because I want to get another red, green, and white. So I want six strobes total, um, you know, for my drone. But uh, those made a huge difference. You could look down at your controller, make sure you're getting your right shot and everything. And then you could look right up into the sky and you'd see it instantly because those things are just flashing bright as all can be. But uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or anything, just... Uh, you know, holler at me and uh, I will answer them. But that is episode number two of the Aerial Cinematography Drone Vlog, ACDV. Yeah, ACDV. Anyway, that's it. Hope you guys liked it. here working hard in the cold flying some drones I've got a drone right here where is it there it is drone right there and then if you uh, can't tell where we are let me flip this camera around <laughs>